Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. In this video, I'm going to be doing something a little different, but it does pertain to nail products and nail items. So, you guys know when you go to the store shopping for house letters, numbers, that they are a little pricey. And if you want a really beautiful one, they can get really steep in price. So, why not make your own? I took my Eno Couture shiny top coat. I used this one right here. It's got gold uh, glitter in it. And it is a no white, okay? So, what you're going to do is take this. You're going to outline, fill in the white part that you see here whatever your color is on your house fill in the whole number or letter fill it in with your top coat okay take your little flashlight and cure that doesn't take long to cure at all it took me maybe 10 seconds and I had it done you don't want to cure it fully you're just gonna partially cure it and then you're gonna take a um, some tweezers and you're gonna slowly like pick until it comes up and then I actually used the tip of the tweezers to like push to help me and then you're just gonna start pulling it off and it will make the shape or, or letter that you need the neat thing about this is where your screw or nail is gonna go you're gonna go over that part a little thicker that way it will transfer and I'll show you what I mean in a minute that way you'll know where to drill your holes for your nails or your screws when you're going to put these up. But you can actually see where the, the nail like rust transferred. That way I know where to drill the holes. Some of them actually came out with the hole. So it's perfect. Builder gel or whatever, I am gonna use the bottle. This is a builder gel in a pot and a bottle. If you guys are interested, I'll leave a link for them. Um, also, you're going to grab glitters or embellishments, alloys, whatever you want to put in your house numbers or house letters. I've got some glitter here from my friend Sherry. I have my other McCart, like um, the one that they just came out with. This is their decor kit. I'm going to take my pottle. And I'm just gonna start at the thicker part. I'm gonna outline. We're gonna put some gel in here. I'm gonna go right over that screw part where the screw goes. And we can file and shape it, you know, if we need to. Once you have that, go ahead and take your light and you're gonna go ahead and flash cure that real quick. And go ahead and pick it up, dump off any excess, and then you're going to go ahead and set that in your light and cure it. And then we're gonna go over it again and encapsulate that. All right, so I started to encapsulate these with poly gel, and it was just a bitch to do, and it takes forever. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to bust out the acrylic. So I've got my clear acrylic. It's starting to harden now. Uh, it's, it's, it's almost time to uh, file. What I do is I just pick up a bead, and I'm placing it down, and then I kind of like pull it where I want it to go. Just make sure, you know, that it stays pretty nice and neat. That way you don't have to file too, too much. If you cover your holes up on this side, don't worry because when you flip it, you're still gonna be able to see where they are, okay? So here's the one and then here's one right here. But we're also gonna seal the back side as well with a no wipe top coat. This one's 
It's not that thick, so what I may go ahead and do is go over it again with more acrylic to make it thicker because I don't want these to break. And they can break very, very easily. So this was the poly gel right here. It worked. It worked good, guys, but it's just a pain in the ass. So if you want to use clear poly gel, go, go do it. By all means, have fun. Okay, so I am going to actually go ahead and put another layer of acrylic on these once these are completely dry. Um, I'm going to file them. Right, guys, it's time to top coat. I filed them. I filed off some of the like ridges and glitters that were sticking out. Just using my McCart no wipe top coat. But you want to make sure that you get the sides real good, the top every part of the letter or number that you're going to be doing make sure you cap it in a clear i'm going to continue top coating again i'm going to top coat the back then we're going to come back and drill the holes all right i am using this drill bit it's a diamond a diamond drill bit from Eno Couture right there and right there and I got it done with that three it's from the back and flop it over right there and right there when I feel it hit this I stop so you're just gonna press down okay press down <laughs> you feel it touch right there then I pick it up and you're gonna push as you're drilling and I have a I can see where the line is of the dust and that's where I'm stopping Right there okay and then I flip it because I want to make sure this side is just as wide and there we have it all right there they are so now what am I going to use to hang these you ask I'm going to use the really tiny little nails and a hammer. <laughs> so once I get out there, I will record it or try to record it. I don't know. I probably won't be able to hammer and record at the same time, guys. So um, maybe after I just get them up, I will go ahead and record. But I will show you what the nails look like because just in case you want to know, you know, it's a um, Dollar Tree nails. I got them from Dollar Tree. They're in a little case like this, and it comes with, like, multiple different sizes and stuff from the Dollar Tree. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the how the um, numbers turned out. This is the back. Like I said, I did uh, top coat the back. You guys saw me do that. But, yay, we got it. And I'll see you guys outside. All right guys, so we, we have a pole and it's facing our driveway. I don't wanna show you the actual numbers in order. So I'm just gonna like, just show you a little bit. We used the little nails and nailed them to the board. But yeah, there you go. They're up there. They're all up there. <laughs> 